We met at the Slade because I'd been to the Central School to start a textile and, and wallpaper course and it closed down the war and, and so I applied for the Slade as a design student and Bernard was there as a painting student and I didn't do very much there but I met Bernard which was the great thing. I noticed that talented young man opposite me <laughs> and thought he's the one for me. <laughs> he went on there and I went to do war work and went back to the central. So there was no question of my being a painter then, but Bernard naturally became, and his training was based almost entirely on the figure. He influenced me when I turned over to painting, but I think it's possible that I, I made him more aware of colour. For a lot of painters, of course, it's instinctive what they create. They've got it in them. Um, I often think Bernard has, even when he, his signature goes awry, it's still got artistry. I always feel that I have to, to know what I'm doing, make it come, make the gesture be alive and beautiful. Wherever we went, we worked and it turned it into a working holiday. We'd be in these, um, to begin with, very modest hotels. We'd always have the breakfast tray brought up so there was plenty of time. Then as I was getting dressed and having a bath, and he'd do drawings um, for an hour or more. And then we'd go out, go to my site, whatever it was, drive about till we found it. He rather handed the landscape over to me. Um, I think this is one of the reasons why it's worked, that we have made some separations. You know, it wouldn't overlap very much, except in Venice. Neither can claim Venice for themselves. We have our, as you see, our different studios. It's very useful to have a fellow painter who's deeply sympathetic to talk about one's painting too.